In Ireland, if you've been discriminated against, the only way you can seek redress is through the Workplace Relations Commission. I'm a student at Inuai Galway. As a Christian, I publicly shared my religious beliefs on various social issues. I was bullied and harassed for doing so. Several other students had the same experience. The posters advertising our events were systematically torn down across the campus. We complained to the university, but for the most part, the university ignored our complaints. Instead, we were disbarred for life from membership of all student societies. Our only hope at that point was to bring a case of religious discrimination. We expected a fair and impartial investigation at the Workplace Relations Commission. However, this was not to be. Six hearings were scheduled to deal with the case. We were left alarmed on many occasions by the behaviour of the adjudication officer. In her opening remarks, she said that she was scared by all the boxes of submissions. At another point, she complained about all the black and white documents. She said she would prefer if there was more colour printing. She made repeated references to her salary, making comments like, I'm not getting paid for overtime, and, oh, it's going to be appealed anyway. At one point, a witness for Inuai Galway gave incriminating evidence that our religion had been discussed during a committee meeting. Immediately, the adjudication officer gave the witness an opportunity to retract this evidence, saying, would you like me to strike that off the record? After this, the adjudication officer demanded that we express confidence in her, threatening to walk away from the case if we didn't. We were left sitting for an hour in an empty hearing room. When the adjudication officer returned with barrister and solicitors for Inuai Galway, she resumed the hearing, offering no explanation for her actions. The adjudication officer had no legal qualifications. Her background was in human resource management and industrial relations. Six months after the final hearing, she dismissed our case. Her decision ignored extensive legal precedent. This is our story. We believe it needs to be heard. For more information, visit burkebroadcast.com.